catch you guys on the next video. I've been very busy this year. <laughs> I had about 135 videos at the end of the year last year, and I felt I was behind for the previous years, so I wanted to see if I could make it 200. I think this is 192, and the year ain't over yet. <laughs> so I've been very busy this year. Anyway, this is about wire nuts. Connecting wires, using wire nuts, a different style connectors, just to give you an example. Uh, proper way to do it. Uh, proper tools to do it. Um, things like that. And we also talk a little bit about the uh, wire gauge and circuit breakers, the proper gauge wire for wire breaker. Most people use 15 and 20 amp, which would be 14 and 12. 12 would be for 20 amp, and 14 gauge, which is a smaller gauge, would be for 15 amp breakers, okay? I don't know how many times I've said this on YouTube. Do not change out a 15 amp breaker to a 20 amp breaker if you have 14 gauge wiring. If you don't know what that is, you can usually use like a wire stripper, and it'll show you, give you an idea of what gauge you're using. Whether Some of them, like the clients I've been using for... The, 30 years, <laughs> uh, they actually have, for both some of them, for both cutting wire and uh, solid and strand. Okay, the, I guess the only thing, I, one of the few things I didn't discuss is solid wiring is usually better, strand is easier to maneuver, um, but I don't like it for devices because it tends to like fray when you t tighten the screw, so I don't like that. Um, everything else I try to put in the video, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You guys want to make this little video about uh, wire nuts and stuff. Some experiences we have, how to use them, a few things like that. First, I guess we'll start with a few different type of wire connectors. These actually take four wires that go in there. It looks like they go up to 12 gauge. They might have a rating on there. I'd have to look at it. You should have the rating on the package when you buy it. There is a major difference between wiring and amperage that you can use. For instance, all these wires you see here, these are all 12 gauge. So they can run on a 20 amp circuit. You could put a 15 amp circuit on here theoretically, but for the most part from what I see, when they do their original install, they put the proper wire for the proper amperage. If you have a 15 amp breaker, that would be 14 gauge. Okay, you also see gauges on extension cords where you see 16, which is not even rated for 15 amps. So I don't even know why they make such extension cords like that. Uh, and most power tools can go up to 15 amps, like circular saws and stuff like that. Saws, saws, things like that. So that's kind of a bummer that you go there, and if you're not sure what you're looking at, you start buying the less expensive extension cord, and you could actually call, heat up and cause a fire. So uh, <laughs> I don't know who, who allowed that one. A different type of connector. You put the wires in both ways, crimp it. Another type of connector you would put on uh, for on HVAC for capacitors, uh, contact, the lead, stuff like that. Okay. This one is actually particularly hard to find. This is a ceramic wire nut. I don't see these in stores anymore. I could probably get it online. They come with the oven igniters. Uh, electrical oven. It heats up. And then the pilot opens up and it ignites the gas. That's what they come with. So these are pretty hard to find ceramic wire nuts. I don't see them very much anymore. If you look at the wire nuts, I'm hoping you can see inside there, the silver in there. Yeah, I hope you can see that. But uh, there's a metal winding in there, and that's how it tightens around the wire. This particular one is actually one piece. It's supposed to be something like that. <laughs> and the reason it's broken is because I had it and I wanted to make the video. It happened to me last week and I showed it to somebody. He handed it back to me in two pieces. I was like, all right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what happened here was the wires were loose enough when they were put together. And that looseness caused enough heating or arcing that it would actually heat up the, the metal insert in the wire nut and melted it. I've seen this happen before. I'm sure anybody's been doing electrical work long enough to have seen that happen. Okay. 
This one here actually has a little bend on it. And this would be proper if you put it, installing it somewhere and you put it, you bend it around the shape, the way you tighten the screw. So that's why that bend is there. This was used previously and somebody has that bend there for a reason. Okay, this is a uh, white wire, so it can go on a switch or on a neutral, which would be the large side over here. And it would go the way I tighten the wire. I probably have to loosen this up a little bit because it's a little bit. Yeah, these wires, these newer stuff that we get, they pretty much don't work that great. So I have to do all kinds of stuff to get it to work. As you can see in this one. <laughs> okay, but that's the way it should work like that. And you should be able to tighten it like that, okay? I don't like that connection. I would actually redo that connection if it was me. That looks more proper to me. And the wire gets tight the other way. Okay, that's more tight around the screw. The wire is just pretty thick, but that would be more what it should look like. Okay. We do use aluminum wiring here, and every once in a while you see a copper wire hooked up to it. When you are putting wires together and you're gonna put a wire nut together, there is a proper way to do it. Let's see if I can show you here, because it might have a little difficulty. These wires are pretty thick. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one's stripped here, okay. Make that one happen, hopefully. Should I actually take a uh, lineman's pliers like this? Uh, you should twist them together. Okay. Yep. Not like that. If it's three or four, you twist into three or four together. If you got a head that you want to cut, you can cut it with the lineman's pliers and you can put your wire net on there. These are pretty thick, so they're going to take the larger one. Now, people make a mistake, they don't put these on tight enough. I've even seen electricians decide, okay, I got it on, but I ain't finished yet. They'll take their lineman's pliers and they'll go a turn or two more. Now that's the right way to, to put a wire nut on and put your wires together, okay? Got another illustration here. I wanna show you real quick, cause these gonna come apart if you understand how they work. Oh, boy. Sorry for taking so long, but some of this is actually kind of important. So that's why I'll take my time and do it. Now you can put copper and aluminum wires together. I'm gonna hold these with something. I guess this will do. Right. These are pretty hard to work with these. I'm looking at these right now, huh? Giving me a little bit of difficulty, but they're coming together, so that's what counts, okay? Okay. Those guys together, pretty good. There is a code here where I'm at. You have to use a certain type of winer, and it's this one right here. It has this goo inside, it's kind of purplish. It was actually installed on a lot of the aluminum wires here when the place was built. So you're not supposed to install a regular wire nut when you mix copper and aluminum. You're supposed to install this one. And again, tight. And go at it again. Okay. Now that's installed properly. Okay. The reason why they make you buy this wire nut code here and install it uh, it's because the expansion rate on copper and aluminum is different. Aluminum is a little bit softer and expands more quicker and faster, heats up quicker. Uh, copper heats up slower and expands slower, if I'm correct. Unless somebody feels they want to correct me on that part. But that's the... Okay, you see that goo that's in there? Ooh, that stuff is near. I hate to see that on wires. <laughs> Also, that stuff is there for corrosion. 
All right, because uh, brass and copper can actually corrode other metals. Or even aluminum and aluminum can oxidize and you can get a poor contact. So that's why they use these wires for aluminum and aluminum and definitely for aluminum and copper. Okay. Uh, this last one, we discussed that. So you guys got all the information I got to give you right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, just ask. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye.